Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll guide you step by step on how to create a V2 Ray server on one platform and use it inside the Nakoha VPN client. This is a powerful client that supports nearly all tunneling services, but in this video, we'll specifically focus on V2 Ray. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up and connect to a secure VPN with confidence. First of all, let's start by downloading the VPN client. Open the Play Store, type Nakoha VPN in the search bar, and press Enter. From the list of results, select Nakoha VPN and tap to download it. The installation may take a few minutes. If for some reason you cannot download it directly, you can also find it on the web. Once it's installed, tap the Open button to launch the app. When you launch the app, you may see a pop-up asking for notification permissions. You can either allow or deny this, depending on your preference. Before we proceed further, we need to create a V2 Ray server. Open any browser on your mobile or laptop, such as Chrome or Firefox. In the search bar, type SSH Tunnel and press Enter. From the results, tap on the SSH Tunnel website, which provides servers for V2 Ray, OpenVPN, and other protocols. Once you reach the homepage, sign up by tapping Log in with Google. After logging in, you'll be ready to create your server. Now let's create a V2 Ray server. From the menu, choose a region such as Asia, Europe, America, or Africa. For this tutorial, I'll choose Asia. Within the region, you'll see different server locations like UAE, Singapore, or Turkey. I'll select UAE as it's closer to my location, but you can choose a server based on your needs, such as speed or latency. Once you select a server, you'll be redirected to the account form page. Wait for a few seconds for security checks to complete. Then enter your desired username and password. This will generate your all-in-one server details for various V2 Ray configurations. Press Submit, and within a few seconds your server will be created. Copy and save the server details. For this tutorial, we'll use a V2 Ray TLS configuration, so copy the configuration to your clipboard. Now that we have the server ready, return to the Nakoha VPN client. Tap the plus icon, then choose Import from Clipboard to add your configuration. You can also add it manually by selecting Manual Settings, but importing is much faster. Once imported, you'll see your server appear in the list. If you'd like, you can edit the configuration by tapping the pencil icon to add SNI or modify other settings. Once everything looks good, tap the Connect button to start the VPN. You'll see the connection status update, confirming that your VPN is active. To double check, tap the VPN status to view details such as ping and HTTP handshake. You can also visit a website like What's My IP to confirm your IP address has changed. That's it. You have successfully created a V2 Ray server and connected it using the Nakoha VPN client. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video, share it with friends, and subscribe to the channel for more VPN tutorials and tech guides. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.